Hello. I hope everyone out there is doing well. I would like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would like to talk today about prepping to suit your own personal needs. Some of you may be new to the idea of prepping. So what is prepping, and how could you benefit from it? Prepping is simply having supplies for an emergency situation. Preps can be as simple as having a week's supply of food and water stored in case of a winter storm, and you cannot make it to the store. Preps can be as simple as having band-aids for cuts and scrapes. Most of you already have preps, and may not even realize it. I am certain most of you are aware of all the severe weather that has been happening, everywhere. Severe droughts and wildfires in Texas and other states. Flooding along the Mississippi, and flooding in Vermont and East Coast states. Earlier in the summer, we had a series of bad storms that led to a number of tornado outbreaks. These storms claimed many lives, and caused devastation for so many. There are so many reasons to prep. Some people prep because they see bad things happening in our economy. Some may prep because of the storms and weather. Either way, there's nothing crazy about being prepared. Preparing is the same as having a backup plan for an emergency situation. I suggest for everyone to have some preparations, because we can never know what is going to happen, and when. Everyone needs to prepare at their own level, that suits the individual that is preparing. Everyone's needs and situations are different. A person can stock supplies for a week, in case of bad weather, or a person can go all out, and stock supplies for a complete economic collapse. Whatever your circumstance, how can a person go wrong for having a few supplies on hand for an emergency? You should stock preps to a level that you, feel comfortable with. One way to look at it, if you prepare for the worst, your preparations will cover many different situations that you may find yourself in. I am not saying it will, or will not happen, but it is a good idea to plan for scenarios that might happen in your area, and have a backup plan. Stocking foods that have a long shelf life, and stocking water is a good place to start. Stocking medical supplies, and having alternative sources for lighting, cooking, electricity, and transportation, are other aspects of prepping that one may consider also. Having a firearm and ammo, is also something to consider because it offers protection to you and your family, and doubles as an emergency backup for hunting food, if a person is prepared. It can help a bad situation, be not so severe. Prepping is actually the responsible thing to do, especially if you have a family. It's our own responsibility, to make sure ourselves and our family is taken care of. I recommend people to prepare yourself with knowledge as well. Learn and practice basic survival skills for a backup for your preparations. This can be done with the entire family, and can offer a way for the family to connect with each other. Don't live in fear for what may happen, because with preparations, you know you have done all you can, to provide for yourself and your family, for an emergency situation. I suggest including everyone in your household to prep together. If you are interested in knowing more about prepping, there are many good videos to watch here on YouTube. Doing some research, you may find some of what people say, to be overwhelming. Just remember that you don't have to prep, to have the supplies that someone else has, but to a level that you feel comfortable with. Some people like to sensationalize that prepping is crazy. This is the farthest from the truth. Prepping is being prepared, and having a backup plan. Being prepared, keeps us safe, and there is nothing crazy about that. If nothing else, I recommend for people to have at least a week's supply of food and water on hand, it may just come in handy. I would like to thank you, for joining me today. Thanks for watching. Be safe, and God bless.